are you in my word? Then ye are my disciples indeed. And disciples, disciples indeed. Who did he speak to? The Jews. To the Jews. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So what is the truth? So what is the truth? Huh? The word of God, right? So give me our Psalms, give me our Psalms 119 and 142. Let's see what the truth is. Because the Bible said precept must be upon precept. Right? right? Yeah, you need two or three more witnesses to establish every word. That's right. Right? So every prophet, Christ said, give me our Luke 24 and 44. Read what you got. Hold on, I got you. I got you. Read. This is the book of Psalms. Let me just show you what the truth is now. Chapter 119. Verse 142. Wow. Bring it out. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The laws of God is the truth, man. What? Read. This is the book of Luke, chapter 24, verse 44. And he said unto them, Christ, this, after his resurrection, when you go to Luke 24 and 44, he had done resurrected and he walked in with the disciples. Read. These are the words which I spake unto you while I was. Yet with you, uh -huh. that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. Acts 3 and 17. Go ahead. This, go ahead, go ahead. this is the book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 17. Yeah. And now, brethren, I watch that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which God before had sold by the mouth of all his prophets that Christ should suffer Christ should do what? Christ should suffer mm -hmm. he has so fulfilled Christ fulfilled the suffering of the scripture right? he didn't die, he didn't die for us to sin can you shout for the Sabbath? can you shout for the Sabbath? can you shout for the Sabbath? I am, I'm asking you a question I'm, I'm not, I'm not I'm, 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 I'm right I'm asking you one question. The Bible says, yeah, let your yeah, yeah, be yeah, even what? Your yeah, be yeah, yeah. Okay, so can you stop for a second? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you want to explain it? You want to explain it? I'm asking you a question. Are you going to explain it? Are you going to explain the scriptures? You know, the Bible says that you have always given man an answer. So I'm asking you, are you going to be able to explain it? Okay, then we're going to hush you. I want you to explain it. Read. always listen? Read. I'm not listening. This is not the Christian church. When, when, when Paul was on the scene, was not Paul and the brothers always going over the scriptures? Can I pull out of 1 Corinthians 1 and 18? So the Bible said, Christ said that then no man come in but what? My father, man. So if this word for you, if the, you know, listen, if this word for you, you don't get it, bro. So get it. Like, we don't what do you mean? Yeah, we don't read the scriptures for you. Yeah, I am. Look, we don't read the scriptures for you. Look, we don't read the book. We've been, we've been listening to the, we've been listening to the same thing for the last 400 years. It is time for us to read the scriptures. Right? Wow. Now, you first you don't ask me, then you don't go on to a soliloquy, man. This is not the Christian church. So you can ask me a question. Ask me. Are you not here to do the song? I am here to do the work of God, man. Because, look, I, can't, I cannot win souls. That's only the spirit of the Most High God. Right? I can't do nothing but do the work. I am a vessel. But what is the vessel? Give me that. Give me that in Luke six. And okay, you got you. Give me Luke. Give me Luke six and uh. Give me Luke six and forty four. What's your What's your scripture, brother? I got two scriptures. I want to. What's your scripture, brother? Can we go to Titus? Can we go to Titus? No, I got to read this over here. We got you. Go ahead. Verse four. This is the book of First Timothy, chapter one and verse twelve. And I thank Christ Jesus. Our Lord, who have enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Although I was a blasphemer. But the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you and keep you from evil. No, first Timothy chapter 1, verse 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, Salaki, Salaki. Yeah, yeah, Salaki. Let me start over. First Timothy. 
chapter 1 and verse 12. And I thank Christ Jesus, our Lord, who have enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry, who was before a blasphemer and a persecutor and injurious, but I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly and unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and ah. love, which is last, last in Jesus three. Christ. Okay, last three. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got 14, okay. 15. He went and got, Paul was a hitman. Okay. He was a persecutor. Okay. But in him, the most the same. Okay. God, God what, man. what was his nationality? What was Paul? He was a Jew from what tribe? So, right. so, so he was a sin, a sweat of sin, according to the Bible. First John 3 and 4, and get Paul at Romans 11 and 1. Let's see what Paul is. Then we got the scripture. But we're going to be a look. See what I'm doing? You see what I'm doing? I'm going to the scripture to disprove your point. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever confesses that Jesus is the Son of God, he is the Hold on, I got you. Right. Hold on, I got you. See, Pastor, what the Bible says, hold your feet, man. Hey, get our Ecclesiastes 5 and 1 real quick. Because one thing about God, God is a man of order. Right? He's a man of structure. Right? So he said, when you come down, hold your feet. What? Hold your tongue, man. 12 and 4. What I said later, man. What you say, Cain, what we got to do with that? This is the book of Ecclesiastes. What well, that man do with anything? Chapter 5 and verse 4. Why we talking about the ball? We talking about the cater for those. Keep thy foot oh. when thou goest oh, okay. to the house of God okay. oh, oh, oh. and be more ready to hear. Be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. Back up, back up, back up a little bit. So look, so back up a little bit. I'm not saying you didn't get close, that's all. Can you read Titus chapter 3 verse 9? But did you hear what the pastor said? Did you hear what the book said? I know what it's saying. Right. I told all, so, 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 but you, it's one thing the Bible says, don't be hearers of the word, but what? Doers of the word. So you're not doing that. That's if you're, because if I was coming to your platform, that's what I'd do. I'd be more willing to hear. Hush! Right. I'd be more willing to hear. But Two. Not, I'm reading, the scripture's coming out, but it's going in one ear, not the other. Read this scripture. Read Titus. Read this book. Let's see what the Bible says. Because see, we've been listening to the same plantation the, uh, theology since we came out from slave ships, man. Right. Right. And now it's not stopping George Floyd right. being shut down. Right? Now it's not stopping Lamar Army from being shut down, right? Yeah. We've been listening to that same Christianity doctrine since we came out from plantation. The Bible says, do not be hearers of the word, but doers of the word, man. Right. The Bible says that we cannot eat shellfish. Christian says, or we can eat anything long as we pray over it. Right. The Bible says that we cannot eat pork. Christian says, or we can eat anything long as we pray over it. The Bible says that only the kingdom of heaven is for the children of Israel. Christian says that the Bible is for everybody. It's replacement theology. Right. Right. What you say, Titus 3 and 3? Right. No, I got it. Titus 3, 9 and 10. 19. Titus 3, 9 and 10. This is the book of Titus, chapter 3, starting at verse 9. But avoid foolish questions and ge ge genealogies and contentions and strivings about the law. And what? And strivings about the law. Keep on wait a minute. Okay, finish. Yeah. Finish. For they are unprofit. For they are unprofitable in vain. So they go. Let's do this. Let's get Romans unprofit. eleven and one. They say one of the Bible. But see, yo, but see, the didn't Christians finish. don't know the Bible. He we didn't know. Finish. Let me keep reading. Out. He didn't do it. Verse 10, a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject. See, that's, see, that's what he is. He's a heretic. He let's give over to the one. Bring it out. Chapter 11. Bring it out. Bring it out. If God cast away his people, I say, if God cast away his people, if God cast away his people, God forbid. What the Bible say? God forbid. Where you going, bro? Come back. Right. Five questions in vain, man. That's right. They don't know the Bible, man. Uh, <laughs> they don't know the Bible. 